think I owe all of this, what I am today, to my parents, my mentors, the opportunities, uh, and of course, AKU, because I joined AKU as an instructor, a very junior level, and now I've gained whatever I am through all the opportunities and the training that AKU gave me. So I think that that is who, uh, what I am, and that's how I was made. So I think there'll be a couple which I would like to highlight here. One was during the COVID period when we were all shut down and then we were told that uh, we have to convert all of our teaching learning into an online version. Uh, we did have an idea with all the blended learning courses and trainings that we had, but doing it on a massive scale was a challenge for us. So uh, myself, along with other colleagues at AKU, we took this challenge up and then we devised a plan and we kind of offered an online course for the year one and two and then later on it was uh, catered for year threes onwards. So I think that was one part where I could say okay, that's a huge success for me. Uh, the second, I would say that publishing my book on my research area, uh, that is Metabolic Syndrome, was another success story. Again, that was because of the opportunities that I had here, uh, the research experience that I had and all uh, the innovations, uh, the innovative ideas that I got here. So I got to publish that. So that's another success. So there were a couple of students who worked under me in the research. Uh, their paper got published in International Avenues. Uh, they were selected for the best oral talks. Uh, one was in Australia and the other was in the US. And both of those students presented there and got awards and further uh, went on to become leaders in that area itself. So that, yes, is another achievement for in terms of my students. So the first challenge uh, is, I think, lack of uh, funding. Uh, specifically for lower middle income country, uh, we have other challenges in addition to this. So uh, that was the major one. How did I overcome it? Uh, by writing as many grants as possible. Uh, did not get disheart disheartened by any failures or unsuccessful results. So, uh, and then eventually received some uh, good grants and therefore progressing in research, that was one. The other challenge, again, as I mentioned, was the online conversion. Uh, so what I would say is, um, you know, always take up challenges uh, and move yourself out of the comfort zone that you're so familiar with working in that particular area. Because you get to learn a lot and you get to grow a lot. And then you say, all right, if I can do this, then I can do even better. I can become more and more and more. So that's, that's how I would say that. Spending time with my family, going back home, uh, talking to my parents, you know, discussing all the day's events. I think that's the that's the true form of happiness which I can relate to. Other than that, it would be success in terms of my career, success in terms of my mentees, and so on. Whatever you do, everyone, lifelong, life. Uh, excellence. Oh, again. Okay. Uh, so as I mentioned that I joined AKU as an instructor. Uh, and then, um, so being the first in a family, I was the first doctor in the family. I did not know anything about what this profession entails. Uh, and I got an opportunity to join AKU as uh, an instructor. I said, all right, let's give it a try. But when I joined AKU, I got to realize that whatever we heard about it, it being provision of uh, sort of providing enough mentorship, grooming the faculty or grooming everyone who enters here is all true. And I think whatever I am and whatever training I had or whatever skills I have gained are truly because of all the implicit and explicit trainings that AKU provides in terms of opportunities, in terms of the experiences, in terms of the culture that we have here. So um, if you ask me now why AKU, I would say why not AKU and why not always AKU. Very simple. Don't be afraid if you fail in anything. So not being successful the first attempt is not the end of the world. Go look for challenges. Put yourself in challenging positions. That's the best way to grow and get rid of all the fears that you have. So my um, humble request to all of you would be Go out of the box, get out, out of your comfort zone, do whatever comes uh, as a challenge that you think, oh, I might fail in it. But then, of course, you learn a lot 
and there would be opportunities and options that would help you in uh, gaining something extra that you did not have or did, you did not think that you can uh, change or you know the skills that you can adapt to. So this is what uh, I would say.